Hello, this is PG. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. Ghost of Tsushima is an action adventure game developed by Sucker Punch Productions. You play as Jin, a samurai who has to compromise his own beliefs in order to stop the Mongol invasion and save the island of Tsushima. The game is split into three acts, each with their own distinct story arcs, and the island of Tsushima unlocks as you progress through these acts. The Director's Cut edition features the base game, the Icky Island expansion, a digital mini art book, director's commentary, one technique point, a special charm, and a new skin set. You also get access to the Legends game mode, which is a standalone online co-op mode, but more on that later. Okay, gameplay. Well, in terms of combat, it's a fantastic and varied experience with a variety of fighting stances that you can unlock as you progress. Each stance has its strength and weakness, and you'll find yourself switching between stances mid-battle depending on the foe. Generally the fights are fluid, balanced and fair. You can dodge, you can jump, you can parry attacks, and you've got heavy or light versions of these attacks also with projectiles, with bows, with uh, like ninja star type things. There's lots of options. If you encounter an enemy before they see you, you can initiate a standoff. And these are these very cool little moments that, that have a very filmic quality. I'd say overall the combat feels just about right. Now the missions, they're split between the main quests of Jin, trying to save the island, and the Tales of Tsushima, which are like side quests. The main story I'd say is pretty interesting as it deals with a samurai who has to compromise what his true beliefs are. You know, the samurai, they're all about honor, facing their enemies head on. But as you progress, Jin almost adopts a sort of ninja type assassination type tactic. And it's this story arc that really makes the journey of Jin quite interesting to play through. The Tales of Tsushima, the side quests, they're also really good and, you know, much like in The Witcher 3, for example, you can't tell the difference between the side quest and the main quest sometimes. But the side quests also give you these nice folklore type legend missions that really did stand out. The game world? Beautiful to behold, lovingly created with stunning forests, beautiful landscapes, mountains, etc. It's also about the right size. It never feels like it was too big. There's villages, there's traders, there's blacksmiths. You've got shrines, secrets, forts, random enemies roaming the land, storytellers at campfires. It's really wonderful and just captivating as a game world. And it's a game where you can get as much from it as you want. If you really want to delve into the side quest, you'll find out so much more about the lore. But, you know, everything gives you a little benefit. Like, you can unlock new moves and stuff. You can customise outfits. There's so many great, beautifully crafted outfits here. And it's a game that makes you feel connected to, like, the spirit of the island. Um, it's a very spiritual game. Even, like, you can stop and reflect and compose a haiku. Who'd have thought it? Tomoshibia. You've got a horse to help you get around. You've got a flute that can change the weather. God, I live in England. Give me that flute, please. And, you know, you've got wild foxes to befriend. There's so much. It's such a rich, in-depth and delightful world. Now, as I said, this edition comes with the Icky Island DLC. This gives you a completely new island for Jin to explore as he takes on a new Mongol threat. It adds some new elements like new tails, uh, techniques, horse abilities, which are pretty cool, and upgrades and sort of collectibles. So for me, I'd say it's one of the best DLC expansions I've played since the Frozen Wilds in Horizon Zero Dawn. Top tier stuff. So finally on gameplay, there's Legends mode. Legends is a standalone mode, including four classes, Samurai, Ronin, Assassins, Hunters. Now you take your character, build them up over time, and I'd say this is probably more exciting than the main campaign. It's got a very high tempo, it makes for some more front foot aggressive type of combat, and it definitely did change how I played the base game. Um, you can do quick play, you can do story missions, you can take on waves in survival. The waves in survival mode are just so much fun played with other people, it's like four samurais against an endless horde, let's have it. Oh, beautiful. In 
terms of graphics, it's a stunning game. Uh, it's one of the most gorgeous games I think I've ever explored. The character models are incredibly well detailed. The clothing looks wonderful. The weapons are really carefully crafted. It's also got one of the most user-friendly photo modes and one of the best photo modes I've ever seen. There's also a Kurosawa mode, which is a nod to Japanese cinema but it isn't all perfect in terms of graphics. I'd say the lip syncing on the Japanese sometimes can be a little bit off. Music, amazing music. Such, I, I bought the soundtrack to this game and it's just fantastic. Soaring themes, immersive, atmospheric, really take you there, take you back to another era. Okay, good and bad points, what's good? The combat is well thought out and in depth. Visually, it's a stunning experience. The story is intriguing. The variety of side quests adds so much depth. Customization is good. Um, photo mode is excellent. Legends is great. DLC is great. Ah, oh, brilliant game. Bad points. When I first bought it, there were a couple of glitches, but they seem to have been ironed out. There's also this sort of leaving the mission area thing, which I don't think we needed, let's be honest. But there's so little about this game I dislike. Okay, verdict. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is a wonderful game with a beautiful and in-depth game world to explore, a fantastic story, a combat system that is not only comprehensive, with various fighting stances, but it's also a fighting system that felt fair. It wasn't too easy, it wasn't Dark Souls hard. It felt like a fair fight, and I love that because it just it balances off beautifully. The main story is interesting, watching Jin struggle with the samurai code, side quests, folklore, ah, oh, photo mode. Love this game so much. For me, it's up there with the best PlayStation exclusives. This edition is just absolute perfection. And also, I think one other thing we should comprehend here is the developers are not Japanese. They're Western developers, right? And they've made a game about Japanese culture that feels accurate, authentic, and faithful to the traditions of the Japanese people and Japanese history. But it also doesn't feel like a Japanese game. It feels like a Western game in terms of the structure. And I think, you know, the fact that a lot of Japanese developers said, we wish we'd made this, says that they've done a fantastic job. So, amazing game. This edition is perfect. 10 out of 10 for Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. If you haven't played this, I'm jealous of you because I wish I had could play this for the first time because it is absolutely incredible. That's the review. This is PG signing off. Konnichiwa. What does that even mean? Anyway, I'm off.